Have a good day. Skibbity toilet, Riz. For those Gen Zers out there that don't understand the Gen X rise, let me explain it. The Gen X... Hi everyone. I made the shift from commentary videos to lifestyle videos I think eight months ago, something like that. I didn't really feel like my opinion on stuff mattered. I didn't think it was that interesting. I cannot ignore what is going down, what has been proposed against my people. We need to talk about Gen X rising against Gen Z. In researching this video, I tried to find the cause of this uprising. I really did. I deep dived. I've got nothing. We need to protect ourselves. I was made aware of this rebellion on my way back from uni i watched all the videos i was shaking in my boots on the fucking train i was nervous right and then a gen x representative reached out and said can you get the washing in when you get home yes mom i can Gen X is the worst generation. Shut up. They can hear you. Okay, there is a whole reason why millennials decided to skip over Gen X and start beef with boomers. Right. Message is for Gen X and the millennials. We don't know what you have planned for us and why you're recruiting everyone. People, of course, have kids at different stages of their life, but the majority of Gen Z parents are Gen X. So I do think it's important to note that it is a generational war between children and parents. Although, and as I keep repeating, don't really know why this started. I'm going to give you the spark notes of what has happened in the past few days. There is a Gen X filter they're all using. There is a sound they keep using. Gen X rise. I'm seeing a lot of videos again about how Gen Z was trying to cancel Eminem. No, not the one you're thinking of. Him. Good morning, USA. I got a feeling that it's gonna be. My best guess is mass psychosis. Somebody has pissed off Gen X, I think. I don't even, I can't even confirm that. I can't find anybody who knows where this started. They're not stitching whoever's pissed them off. So as I was feeling a little bit in the dark about what we had done, hook the bear. I sound a hundred years old when I say that. 40-ish and fabulous on TikTok kindly let us in. She wanted to explain it in a way that, you know, didn't patronize us. For those Gen Zers out there that don't understand the Gen X rise, let me explain it. The Gen X folks are the toughest people that currently exist in our world today. They are emotionally tough and they are physically tough. I am the oldest millennial. I was born in 82, but I had an older brother, so I was raised as a Gen X kid. And let me tell you a little bit about how we were raised. Nobody was watching us. Nobody catered to us. I really don't want to be cheeky about this. I'm not like poking fun at anyone's traumatic childhood. This isn't a surprise in my opinion because we can tell from prior generations and the parenting styles why this happened. Even just things my parents sometimes joke about. I'm looking at my grandparents a little differently. Nobody gave a flying flip. Flying flip. <laughs> Where we were or what we were doing, we had to be home when the streetlights came on. We climbed water towers. We hopped fences we shouldn't have. We committed crimes and nobody knew. Doing crazy stunts on our bikes and falling down and hitting our heads because we didn't wear a helmet. We beat the absolute living crap out of each other when we were kids. And we didn't tattle. We, you know, bruised our ribs, you know, or broke our wrists when they were twisting and giving us an Indian bird. Just a little too old. So what she just described is definitively neglect, right? And no one really survives neglect. It's traumatizing. They actually just went through neglect and they weren't told how to deal with this. It is manifesting in ugly ways. You guys are not unscathed. I'm so sorry to tell you that. All right, so she just ruined my video. I was supposed to be laughing at you guys and now I'm just sad for you guys. She kind of alluded at the end to all the shit that's going on in the world and that the toughest generation should start stepping in. What are you referring to here? Gen X, rise. <gasps> oh my god. Gen X, rise. Alright, Gen X. 
It's time to stop messing around and make things happen. We've got thousands of us out here who can help each other reach that 10K goal. Remember the power What? <laughs> Are you guys just jealous we're influencers? Sorry, everyone. Quick question. What do you mean by we ride at dawn? Huh? Is that like a euphemism for let's change the world or is that a euphemism for... I'm just saying, if you end up on a no-fly list, I warned you. I tried to warn you. I'm warning you now. Saying things like, it's rise up and we ride at dawn is very roleplay. I feel like you guys are LARPing. Maybe it's just mass LARPing. The way you are saying this isn't coming off the way I think you want it to come off as. Now, I want to tread lightly here, but I would have believed you if you told me that Eminem died years ago. And if I had to assume, I would say he's probably settled. He's in his 50s. He probably has kids. He's probably done with music right he woke up as well and listened to millennials and their allegations and he made a recent song the funniest part i think about this watching millennials and gen x pretend to like this song for the cause of offending us i guess not a good song i'm sorry hey yo fuck blind people what and deaf people suck Stop. Yeah. so do cripples you gonna cancel me yeah gen z me bro Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. I, listen, I don't agree with the lyrics. <laughs> that aside, it wasn't a fiber of my body that resembled rage, right? I don't care. This has always been his shtick. I've never really found it that cool. As the CEO of Gen Z, I pronounce Eminem cancelled. <laughs> Gen Z is no match for Eminem. Someone commented, Schizophrenia is a mental disorder characterized by reoccurring episodes of psychosis that are correlated with a general misconception. I think always the general consensus when we are brought up, when Eminem blinks, when he is spotted outside. No one cares about him. I'm sorry, he's not the first and last person to make music with offensive lyrics. Mm. A few millennials jumping in. I guess they're sick of our slander, which is fair enough. Millennials, are you ready? Gen X said to assemble. Gen X requesting backup. We've been pushed too far. Millennials, we need your help. You are green for go. Us millennials are like the middle child, but we know better than to mess with Gen X. 85 here, which is a common theme by the way, they keep stating which year they were born in. 85 here, let me stretch, take some ibuprofen. We're gonna be back before 9 p.m., right? Fuck, I'm scared. Can you imagine if we united Gen X and millennials, we rule the world? Imagine. Here's the thing about Gen X. We don't assemble. We are always assembled. Full body chills, brother. I'm a millennial. I don't know who we're fighting, but I'll bring the snacks. People love snacks. Just an observation. 1980 here. I am fluent in both Gen X and millennial. What are we doing? Millennials can be ruthless like Gen X and now the weak spots of Gen Z. If we want, we can be a menace. Gen X. We literally had an arena at my junior high. If anyone challenged you to fight after school, you had to go. It was like the Roman Colosseum with an audience. Every day, battle ready. Um, okay. Just remember, us Gen X see prison as a potential place to rest for a while. Okay. Gen X played on playgrounds deemed unsafe for the next generations afterwards. We loved it. Don't F with us. Millennial here. Leave Gen X alone. You new generations don't have a clue. Gen X here. <laughs> They're all copying and pasting each other. Gen X here. We don't fight fair. We just fight. All I can say is I'm glad they're having fun. I saw this comment also on the train and I actually looked like I had voices in my head. I was laughing so much. TBH, they're kind of cute. Like they all gather like a fandom or something. And the Gen X here is like an introduction. I don't know. It's kind of cute. They're like awkward role players, you know? Um, yeah. Is that the reaction you guys wanted? Or did you want something a little bit more frightened? I think you actually have to start pulling out and if they start actually implementing like fighting against us that would just include physical violence like am i gonna get boxed at the fucking supermarket i read somewhere that the generational hatred for each seeding generation goes back way back egyptian like hieroglyphics maybe i made that up whatever my thing is if we get to a certain age where it's kind of too late to be on the internet we have to promise to ourselves we won't be this embarrassing we have to end the generational hate it's getting a little bit 
transparent. My camera just died, so I'm starting to feel a little bit of generational rage. What the fuck, Gen Alpha? I guess my point of this video was to figure out for my own people what we did wrong so we can learn from the past, I guess. But because there's no definitive answer and I think it's just Donald Trump fans, I don't think we have anything to worry about. I think this event of two meshing algorithms has taught us a few things. One of them is that we have different algorithms. This looks absolutely insane to Gen Z because there's no peep of Eminem on our side. We don't think about him. We don't talk about Gen X. Another thing is I think our generation can learn from this when we're in our 30s and 40s and 50s and not repeat the same mistakes. We don't want to age badly like that. My takeaway from it is I think we are going to be the ones who end the generational hate. Everyone complains about the prior generation but I don't think it's necessary. I think we can support each other. All right, I hope that hit the 10 minute mark. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see anything else from me, subscribe, like the video, let me know. I'll let you know if these threats go any further, but for now, I think we can rest easy. Um, oh, yes, I do. Thank you for watching. Love you. Bye.